So uh, in this video, we will try a third uh, model, third option for our Russell uh, model. And this time we will use uh, the same C factor, the same R factor and the same P factor, which we used in other two previous uh, Russell models. Uh, for R factor, we will use those that we uh, created. And, uh, but for LS factor, we will use those one uh, for uh, which we created using uh, Saga GIS. And for K factor, we will use those K factor which we derived from the soil database. Another K factor, not those which we computed uh, in Excel sheet and afterwards transferred it into ArcGIS. So two uh, factors will be different in this case. And let's see what a result we will have. So we need to just to multiply. So let's save it. Um, so this is our final map. Let's uh, turn on other layers. Uh, so this is our Russell 3 map. And uh, let's vi visualize it to the appropriate color ramp. You can choose this one. So as you might see here, so uh, this areas Again, as our in our previous models are close to zero, we can check it. Well, uh, almost uh, close to zero, and these values at the same time are high because uh, they are located in high steep slopes. So uh, we can check the statistics. So maximum value is uh, almost 2,000, no, not 2,000, 1,767. So let's choose the histogram, mean is 11. Minimum is zero, maximum is this one. Well, if we go to classified, classify histogram, so vast majority are just within this 131 and only a few pixels probably is 263 and even less probably only one pixel or several pixels uh, are within this high have such high uh, rate so keep in mind that this is uh, tons per uh, 900 square meters because uh, our pixel resolution is uh, still uh, 30 meters so uh, the one area of one pixel is 900 square meters uh, we can convert it we can leave it the same way and i recommend you leave it the same way but we can make also some rough uh, change just uh, change uh, we can convert it into one hectare per hectare so loss per annum uh, just exporting and changing this cell size 100 to 100 see that minimum maximum didn't change but we can compare uh, once again the histogram going to classify it and classify so see uh, that uh, mean is 8.5 tons and sum is uh, 50,700,000, right? And let's compare it with our 90, uh, 900 square meters. Uh, so mean is the same, but sum is completely different. See, 130. So, uh, 73 million so it's uh, more than 10 times 
Why? Because the pixel area of this one is uh, approximately 11 times uh, larger than this one. Meanwhile, the values didn't change. So if we are converting in from 900 square meters to 10,000 square meters per pixel, we also need to uh, multiply pixel value to uh, 10,000 which is the area of one pixel again 11 uh, nice. Eleven, eleven. So let's try. Uh, so maximum value significantly changed. So the sum is the same. See, as here, which was one hundred seventy-three million. This is our old one. So this is the same. Uh, maximum mean is 8.5, standard deviation is 25. So sum is the same. Let's check other values. Maximum changed. Mean is 95 now because it's uh, in one per hectare, which is not surprising because per one hectare you will have much more so a lot than uh, comparing to uh, 900 square meters. Mm. But the sum, sum of soil loss uh, for the whole study area is the same. Maximum is uh, 19,000. How it's possible, you might ask. First of all, it can be just a statistical error. See that only probably one pixel or several pixels have uh, this value. We can, again, symbolize it. Let's see. So these areas have high, uh, mostly high, very high uh, soil loss, which is not surprising because it's uh, mountain areas. See, it's a very steep slope, mountain areas without no vegetation cover and with a very high precipitation rate annually with no conservation practice. So it's not surprising that the soil loss per hectare per year is uh, high but uh, we can we, it's moderately high it's not it's maximum is 3000 you can find here uh, 1500 2000 etc so it's hard to find here 2500 maximum so this values so it's uh, so it's uh, sometimes the soil loss also per annum per hectare might reach uh, 12,000 tons per hectare during landslides, for instance, but it's uh, very rare. It's in mostly tropical regions, in very mountainous with high level of precipitation. But uh, 2,000, it's uh, quite common for mountain areas and with uh, for high altitudes and high precipitation.